Hello guys, then we're gonna talk about the solution explanation of problem elimination game on slate code and then try to code it. So what we're asked to do is just we're given an integer n and we should create a list of integers from one up to n and then for every odd number of moves we should delete the first number and then every second number from left to right and in every even number of moves we should delete the last number and then delete every second number from uh, uh, right to left. So, for example, if we have n equals 9, uh, we have the list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. In the first move, which is odd, we delete 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and what we're left is 2, 4, 6, and 8. And in the second move, which is odd, we delete 8 and 4 from right to left, and what we're left is 2 and 6. And then in the third move, which is uh, odd, we delete 2 and what we're left is 6 and we need to uh, find uh, the number remaining in the list so there are many solutions uh, with recursion uh, that are with time complexity of uh, log n but I'm going to talk about a non-recursive solution with also time complexity of log n so let's just say we have n equals 5 and we just create the list 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so in the first number, uh, in the first move actually, which is odd, uh, we delete the first number and then every second number. So one, two, three, and five are deleted, and then what we're left is twenty-four. And in the second move, which is even, we delete the last number, which is four, uh, but we don't have a second number. So uh, what we're left is two, and that's our final answer. So two. So let's just discuss the algorithm we're going to talk about. So say we should declare a variable called numbers which stores the uh, numbers currently left in the list so in the start numbers equals 5 uh, let's also declare a variable moves which stores the move the number of moves until here which in the start equals 0 and also let's have a variable called start uh, which I'm gonna explain later what it does and another variable called steps which I'm going to also uh, discuss later what it does which is also equal to 1 so uh, we just uh, do while the current numbers uh, are greater than 1 so uh, after the loop finishes we have one left number one number left so while numbers so let's write it uh, while numbers are greater than 1 then uh, we have the variable move so if move is uh, 0 that means we have uh, we're in an odd even number of moves but if move equals 1 that means we're in an odd number of moves so if moves uh, equals 1 so we're in an odd number of moves or uh, the numbers currently left in our uh, list is odd and then we should update the starting index called start and add to the starting index called start uh, st the variable called steps and we should observe that every number after every operation after every move uh, we see that our numbers are uh, halved so we have five numbers then after the first operation we will have five over two numbers then five over four and until we go to one number so every time while the while loop runs we just divide our variable called numbers by 2 and update our uh, variable called steps uh, by multiplying it by 2 because if while dividing the numbers uh, the number uh, by 2 we should keep the ratio so we just should multiply the steps by 2 so uh, I'm gonna discuss what start is, the variable called start. So start is actually in the start the first number in the array, so it's not zero here, it's one. And it's actually our final answer, start. So uh, in the example one, two, three, four, five, start equals to one, and then we delete one, three, five. So it means start will be deleted because it was one, 
and so we should update star and go uh, to 2 because our numbers left is 24, are 24 so star will go from 1 to 2 so start will be updated either when the numbers are odd or our moves are odd so actually that's all in the algorithm so let's try and code it let's see so let's declare a variable called numbers which is equal to n a start which is equal to 1 a steps which is equal to 0 to 1 actually and a moves which is equal to 0 so uh, while numbers are greater than 1 then what we need to do you should check if our moves equal 1 showing a non number of moves or our numbers left are odd then we should update start and go start equals start plus steps then divide your numbers by 2 and then uh, in multiply our steps by 2 and then move and then update the variable moves solid sheet Let's run it. Yeah, it's correct for sample example, sample input. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it worked. It's accepted, so yeah, it's correct solution. It's a correct solution with time complexity of O log n, and it's not recursive. So in memory usage we beat 100% so that's a good in memory it's not recursive that's why, that's why. so let's just visualize it in example one more time so say you have number one to th numbers one to three four five six seven so numbers equal seven our variable numbers is equal seven and then while numbers are greater than one so just like if moves equal one so in this example uh, yeah it's equal in the first example yes so we should update start so start will be equal will be equal to start plus two plus one so start will be two after the first operation numbers will be equal to three and steps will be equal to two so let's just write it down so numbers will be equal to 3 steps will be equal to 2 and our start will be equal to 2 so after the first operation after the second operation we will have uh, we'll check if moves uh, uh, is odd but it isn't it's even then check if our numbers is odd which it, which it is numbers equal to 3 so it's odd so start will be equal to start plus steps so start will be equal to start plus 2 so it will be 5 uh, yeah it will be 5 so from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 we will delete in the first step 1, 3, uh, 5 and 7 so we will be left with 2, 4 and 6 so start will, yes, will be 2 and then we'll delete 6 and 2 so start will be equal to 4 yeah so from 2 start will be equal to start plus 2 so start now after the second move will be equal to 4 then numbers will be halved so numbers will be equal to 3 over 2 so 3 over 2 equals 1 by floor function and start will be equal yes we said start and steps will be multiplied by 2, so steps will be equal to 4 again. So now we're left with a number because numbers equals 1, and then we just return start, which is equal to 4. So, yes, our answer is 4, so it works. It's correct, yeah.
and we proved it. So, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.